man. Honest with you, man. She's a bad thing. Fine as hell. Thick as fuck. Oh my god. That's my baby. Caroline. Who's that lady? Sexy lady. Who's that lady? It's me. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Caroline, that's me, yes, the sexy lady with the red hair. And welcome to another fun, riveting video of I show y'all how I install and transform slash style my wigs. Today's wig I'm working with is from Beauty Forever. This wig was giving all the fall vibes. Red, this type of red, mm, chef kiss just does it for me. But y'all know with these installs, it's always a bit of a journey for us to get to this beautiful end result. If only our wigs could come ready to install right out of the box looking just like this. I mean, some wigs do, but that wasn't this wig. That's a whole different thing. <laughs> this is how the wig looked like right out of the box. Yeah, not the same, I know. It was a bit of a journey, but it's okay. I'm taking y'all along on this journey. So let's get right into it. Something about this kinky straight texture and the color was just giving me SZA vibes and just very natural type of vibes. And that's what I wanted to go with this install. I wanted to look as natural and coming out of my scalp as possible. To achieve this look, I knew I was gonna have to go ahead and bleach the knots and pluck the hairline. You can definitely skip the knot bleaching step because the knots on this unit were not that noticeable given that it was dyed red and they weren't that big. So you can skip this. And I did feel like I had to pluck the wig because even though it did come slightly pre-plucked, it wasn't plucked enough for the look I am going for. Now let's do a quick run through of our plucking and our knot bleaching process. To bleach my knots, I went in with the Blonde Brilliant Express Lightning Powder mixed in with a 20 volume developer. If you're a newbie or just wondering, Caroline, what the heck is going on? What does any of those words mean? Don't worry, babes, I got you. I have lots and lots of detailed ble bleaching, plucking tutorials that I will definitely link down below or put up above. And I do have a recently super detailed hour long bleaching plucking install video if you want to get super in depth on all of these steps that I'm going to tell you guys. But for today, I'm just doing more of a little general run through. You feel me? Cool. Now, once I got my bleach and developer all mixed in together, I just went ahead and applied this onto the lace. I didn't let it process for too long given that the hair was already lifted to a lighter color, the red color. So I let it sit for about 20 ish minutes. Not gonna lie, I was even scared that bleaching this was gonna make the hair fall out more because, I don't know, bleach has just been getting so scary for me. But anyways, once I had processed the hair for about 20 minutes, I went ahead and used some neutralizing shampoo just to stop the processing process, whatever the heck that means. And then to help tone my knots, I'm using a combination of blue and purple shampoo which will also be linked down below. And I'm sorry guys, I always feel so weird making videos where I'm not being in depth and detailed. But like I said before, I have a detailed video on all of this, explaining all of this to painful detail, in case you're wondering. Okay, yay. And I stand corrected, I only end up using purple shampoo, not blue, because the knots look more orange than yellow. And I just felt like since the hair was already red, I didn't need to do too much toning on the knots, you feel me? But yeah, purple shampoo. And then after I washed that out, I soaked the hair in some conditioner. I'm using the Aussie Miracle Moist conditioner. I like this conditioner because one, it's really affordable. I got this big old tub for all my wigs for what, $10? And I feel like it does work. It does help make my hair nice and soft and more manageable. And I let that sit for another hour in a plastic bag and I went ahead and washed that out. Once I had properly washed out the wig, I let the hair air dry by itself overnight. I like to let my wigs air dry versus blow drying it. I feel like it just kind of helps the texture or just less heat damage. I don't know. I feel like it does something. And here we are the next day hairline ready to be plucked. I'm just going in with my flat iron to help me push back my hairline. I like to just work with a pushback hairline makes the knots and everything just easier to work with and to see to pluck my hair if you don't know now you know i'm using my revlon diamond series man slant tip tweeter tweezers whoo that's a long one just to go ahead and you know pluck that hair while this unit was pre-plucked it wasn't plucked enough for my liking like let me give y'all a quick before and after you see before 
she's cute after we are given scalp and now we are ready to install <sighs> finally okay hi guys now we can install the wig we've got our prep done wig bleached and plucked and i also didn't show this part on camera but i trimmed the ends a bit because the ends were a little bit um very thin but honestly i like to trim the ends on all of my wigs i just feel like it makes it look thickest like i don't like walking around my ends looking a little shaggy i don't like doing my wig installs when i have on makeup so i did make sure to like wipe the perimeter of my head and all of that i'm gonna go ahead and put on a wig cap this wig cap is super thin This is a wig cap that came with the wig. I've noticed these days hair companies and they send like the wig caps that come with your wig. They've been trying to like, I guess, noticing the trends. Everyone wants like thinner wig caps. So this is like definitely giving stocking wig, like pantyhose material. I'm trying to just, it's kind of too small for my head. I'm just trying to push this wig cap behind my hairline. So that way, you know, it doesn't show. Starting off with a good old fashioned lace tint. Using my foundation shade. This is the Maybelline Fit Me shade 365. Warm coconut. It's kind of like my summery shade. I think I use like one shade lighter in the summer. Not the summer, but the winter when I get a little lighter. But I love using the Maybelline foundations because they are just like, what, six, seven dollars. And they have a lot of shade ranges, so I can just keep playing around until I find the ones that I like. Blow dryer to dry it all up so it's not like slipping and sliding with the makeup on my head. Okay, this color, like, ooh, it's so pretty. This is, I believe, an average wig cap. I think I realized with Ali, not Ali, but Beauty Forever's wig sizes, I have, like, I would say it's slightly larger than average head size. And I can get away by wearing their medium cap sizes, their average cap size. But I've realized, like, if you have, like, a much bigger head or if you feel like you have a big head, just to be safe, go with the larger cap size. Cause it fits, like literally it's right exactly to my ear. But if you feel like you have like a large head or like lower sideburns, probably go with a larger cap size. How is this almost empty? Like I swear I bought this like not too long ago. I guess I've just been installing a lot of wigs. I'm using our Ebon Lace Spray to lay down our lace. And y'all know her, I love her. So go ahead and start spraying down my lace. I'm gonna spray it under and over. For my sides, for some of y'all wondering, is it better to do under or over spray with it? Mm, it kind of just depends on what works best for you. I would say sometimes I notice with like an over spray, it can make the lace look a little bit more like, it can just add more extra residue on the spray sometimes. But honestly, I see no difference. It is sometimes easier to do under, cause I can really like make sure I'm spraying everywhere, you know? But just try both. My sides, I like to do both because the sides are so stubborn for me. Now I'm going to use a blow dryer on a cool, not cool, but like a warm setting and just push it all in. I'm doing this in a smaller section because, like I said, sides are stubborn, so I'm just working in a smaller section just to save myself. The headache. Okay, that's like that, that wasn't too bad. Go in and pull out the side tabs. Ooh. Of course the hair is a little too crunchy because I sprayed too much on the hair. The way to avoid getting your hair, the actual hair from being too hard from the spray, is just spray more, try to spray mainly more on the lace versus like on the actual hair, because I sprayed more on the hair. Now the hair is a little hard, but that's fine. Just like gently brush it out. Or if it's not trying to budge, put a little bit of water on there and, and it'll come off.
first make sure you are cutting your lace in that up and down jagged motion like I'm not just cutting my lace off straight across because it just like it's it's not gonna lay like naturally on your head you gotta cut that lace off in an up and down motion push down that lace y'all see that melted better yet you don't see that yeah okay next side okay now i'm gonna lay down the lace one more time because i just feel like the lace needs extra laying time but there's not that much there's like decent side parting but i've not enough for what i want to do with a side part so i'm just going to keep it simple and do a middle part because there's a pretty good amount of middle part spacing Now I'm just gonna press out the hair into the part. I feel like I have to pluck the hair just a little bit more for me to get away with that look. Because the hairline can be looking super thick if I'm gonna do no baby hairs because it just looks really funny in my opinion. So I'm gonna pluck, pull this down so I can see. I'm gonna pluck a little bit in the center because the center of my hair line does not go down that far. So I'm just gonna pluck a little bit of this. Sometimes I just pull the hairs out if it's like in a specific spot and I don't feel like my tweezers can get it the way my finger can. Let's see, I'm gonna take off the band to see how I feel. It's the way I'm nervous about doing no baby hairs. Cause I feel like I'm not gonna like it. But I feel like also I might like it. Like, let's see, do I like how that looks? Do I? Or maybe I do like it. I don't know, y'all. Like, I like it like this, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna put this elastic band on and I'm gonna pluck a little bit into the hairline. Just a little bit so it doesn't look so stiff. Cause I feel like it just looks a little bit stiff. It doesn't look so like wiggy, you know? I feel like I'm going to lift a little bit. Okay. okay, let me chill out before I do too much. Like, wow, I think I plucked a little bit too much on this side though. No cat. Let's see. Okay, it's not that bad. But I do have some lifting going on right here, so I'm just going to spray it back down. Put this band back on. Now here's when things start to get a little rocky, the styling. So at first I was like, okay, we're going for natural. So let's do like a blowout round brush type of look. You know the vibe. So, you know, I was like, I'm gonna straighten the hair, press it out and then let it curl a little bit in these Velcro rollers that I had. It sounded like a good plan in theory. I could have done this look before. So that's what I, what I went ahead and did. And I was so excited cause I was like, yes, yeah, it's about to give. And it did give. But it gave for just uh, 10 seconds because literally the curls were dropping. This hair was having a hard time holding a curl. Like I even used my good hairspray, my white girl hairspray. But still give it a couple of hand tosses through the hair and the curls. Literally less than an hour later, here's how the hair was looking. Yes, the end still held the bump, but it wasn't giving that volume body that it looked initially, but it was cute. I liked it. In the moment, I was like, you know what? I'm going to take this. I'm going to settle for it. It's still cute. It's still it's still doing something wrong because the next morning I was like, no, 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 no. I got to try again because you know what? I am a determined girl. So the next day I was like, I'm going to take the wig off and curl it on my mannequin head because I just curl hair better where I can see every single piece and I'm gonna curl it on my mannequin head pin curl these curls spray it with hairspray let them set for a minute and if that doesn't work then okay at least I know I literally tried my best for these curls I try to go in one direction which is going towards the back of the hair so you know curling the curls backwards if that makes sense 
and I'm using a one and one and a half inch Remington curling wand and I'm just using some standard duckbill clips spraying it with my Andrew Schaefer movable hairspray I love this hairspray because it like gives you hold but also you can still run your hands through the hair it's not gonna make it like rock stiff I let the hair cool down for honestly about an hour like I gave her some time I don't want to hear any if ands or buts of why these curls are dropping <sighs> hi hello and I'm back so once the curls were set and I went ahead and just you know did my makeup again because the next day mind you I'm literally wearing the same shirt just to keep the consistency in the video clips but it's the next day like I said determined so I went ahead and just sprayed the same ebon lace spray same routine but this time I'm definitely spraying under versus over because the lace is already cut and I kind of just know where to spray when it comes to spraying under when it comes to a reinstall and same thing spray blow dry lay and repeat elastic band on just to hold down that lace and to make everything sit and simmer and time for the big final reveal i was so ready to see if these curls actually held and luckily for me they actually freaking did like these curls held the whole night they did start to drop the next day and throughout the day more but they still held their shape and the concept throughout the day a lot better than yesterday so i was very happy with that for sure the technique of one letting your curls set by pinning them and also spraying them with hairspray really helps your curls long last year and form better i found this technique this technique works with most of my difficult to curl hair so once i took down all my pins i went ahead and just lightly ran my fingers through the curls to separate them because you know i wasn't going for that very curly sue type of look i really just wanted a nice little texture body wave to it so i was kind of hesitant a bit to run it all the way down through the curl so i try to not run my hands down through the hair just in between to help give it some volume and loosen them up of course, there's always going to be those stubborn curls that you have to recurl, but that's fine. So I went ahead and just recurled the curls that were not doing what they were supposed to do, which mainly the front ones. Same process, let it cool on the clips, spray it down, and I kind of let these cool a little bit less than the rest of the hair. Obviously, I'm not going to wait a whole hour like the initial curls, but I let them cool for at least 20 minutes before I letting them drop. Oh man, this hair has been a journey. Honestly, all my wig installs are literally a journey. We're almost there, finally. Now I'm going in with my smoking hot, and it's only smoking hot hot comb because it's melting some plastic at the moment. But I'm going in with this hot comb. I'm just going to press down the roots and just shape the hair and the curls to form on my face and my head the way that I like it. So I just kind of just use that hot comb as like my brush, but only on the top to help shape and flatten where I want it to be flattened. And then I'm using my little wide tooth comb to start also shaping the hair and brushing it and forming it to frame my face in a certain way. Like there's always a certain look I'm going for when it comes to my curls. Uh -huh. Now we are talking. You can even see the smile on my face. Come like, yeah, this is what I wanted. She's cute. I like this. I was so happy I actually went ahead and curled the hair again. You see, guys, this is why you never give up, you know? <laughs> I feel like my dad just turning things into an inspirational lecture. Go in with some wax to really just help as a finish smoother to, you know, get rid of those flyaways and get everything nice and flat, extra flat. Even though, yes, at this point I was done, but I don't know about you guys, but I always have to sit in the mirror for an extra hour and just fluff and primp my hair and contemplate my life until I'm finally like, okay, yes, I'm done. Okay, my dudes and dudettes. <laughs> Here we are with the final look. Yay, I got it. Yeah, there we go. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for making it through with me to another wig transformation. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed this look, and I will see y'all in another one. Y'all know the drill. Like, comment, and subscribe. And peace out, Girl Scouts. Goodbye.